I'm an inpatient medical social worker. Part of my work uh, involves working with doctors, nurses, therapists. We form discharge care plans supporting our patients and their family members. I'm a community medical social worker. I work closely with my colleagues, Joycelyn, to provide care for patients when they are discharged. I first met Madam Lai and her daughter when they were referred to our transition team. Madam Yong comes into the hospital relatively frequent uh, because of the complexity of her medical condition. I communicate with Lee Ying so that she can work with the relevant community partners to receive Madam Yong when she returns to the community. Madam Lai is the sole caregiver. I we were very uh, concerned whether she could uh, manage uh, her daughter's care. My plan is to work closely with our community partners to support her back at home. I reached out to Taiwan Home Care Division colleagues where they provided uh, hygiene care and also uh, assisted with medication packing. Madam Lai uh, also needed uh, emotional support so uh, I approached uh, Touch Cluster Support. Madam Lai needed a listening ear and uh, someone to comfort and to give her perspective. When COVID struck on her daughter, uh, it was a very uh, hard blow on her. Yinge and I were physically beside her to make sure that uh, Madam Lai was able to understand what COVID means and why she's unable to physically visit her daughter. We work with our hospital staff where they actually prepared the Zoom. Madam Lai is always happy to see her daughter. Uh, she will tell me things like, oh, she looks like she's improving, she was able to smile at me today. The last few days before her eventual passing, I work closely with Joycelyn. I have constant uh, conversation with her to prepare her that uh, her daughter's condition is not well. We prepared a bouquet of flowers uh, for Madam Lai to pass to her daughter and also a very beautiful photograph to remember that they had beautiful memories together. Once I got the update from the medical team that um, the daughter was close to passing, uh, I quickly called Lee Ying and we brought Madam Lai to the televisit uh, center to take a last look at her daughter. She, she accepted it mentioning words like uh, no choice, but it's still uh, uh, painful for her. It's been six months since her daughter's passing. Madam Lai uh, is still following up closely by uh, touch cluster support and our wellness kampong colleagues who uh, help to keep a lookout for her. Madam Lai is a uh, uh, well-loved in the community. A lot of uh, residents also helps to keep uh, an eye on her as well.